do things like this is cowardly and it won't be tolerated. These symbols of hate have Alanda's Powell and the Withrow High School family angry. I think with this year's election, it actually opened a can of worms that was out there that it was it was an embarrassment to feel racist and bigotry and to say it, and now people almost made it like it's okay. The word Trump, racial slurs, swastikas, and words targeting homosexuals were some of what people found on the building, sidewalks, and signage today. This school starts at the seventh grade. How do you explain this to children who have no idea what that really means? School officials say the person behind it also spray painted surveillance cameras. The suspect was caught on video wearing a face mask. We will not be deterred from the action of learning. We want our students in place tomorrow, just as always. Mayor John Cranley calls the vandalism an outrageous attack. This is an act of evil hatred, and we will try to find who did this. State Representative Alicia Reese, a Withrow graduate herself, wants a thorough investigation. I come in and see um, these symbols of hate. Uh, it's unbelievable. You almost got to pinch yourself and say, is this 2017? The symbols have been washed away, but these people won't forget them. We're not going to let some coward who put signs up that they probably can't even spell what that is. We're not going to let that intimidate us or our children. All right, tonight, State Representative Alicia Reese is calling on the Ohio Attorney General's office to take a closer look at this after the vandalism here at Withrow and also Hebrew Union College. School leaders say that there have been no direct threats to students or teachers here. Still in the morning, parents plan to be here to make sure that their students feel safe. We're live in Hyde Park tonight. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. All right.